Bigger than pop, it's a very nice thing. Okay, Menach Levin with the tight. Right, he's speaking Yiddish and English here. Menach Levin with the tight. So, Parsha Shashavua. And you also, you none, none of you guys look like you move shut into my own house. You know what's going on in the world. If you go outside in the street, you're at, you, what's, what's the hummel tumul? The hummel tumul is Iran, uh, Trump, Iran, Iran, Muhammad. What does it have to do to us? Because what's going on by us is also a Muhammad. But we also, but we have a different Muhammad. Our Muhammad is Muhammad's base David, and we are, I'm sure you did the Shluchim and the, everybody on Hall over here are doing tremendous hachanas for Yud Shvat, and it's Shivim Shana. So we are also waging war. We also have a battle to fight. Have a battle to win, not to fight. So how do we deal with this issue? So think about, I don't know what everybody says, says about 70, the specifics of number 70, but right away when you see, you hear the number 70, you, you read the Mishnah, and Shivim was Seva. You see the word seva, what come, which person comes to mind? That they seva takum. That when a seva, a sage walks in, or he's in the vicinity, you stand up. What does that mean? That means to say the number 70 is when you rise yourself up. So um, you have to look different. Something about number 70 is to lift yourself up. And notice what's going on. So the 70 years of Yud Shvat, of the Rebbe's Messias, has to take us to a new height has to take us to a new level. Especially Bachrim. And as I mentioned before, as I mentioned before, when I've loved the tight parts of the Shavua, when Moshe Rabbeinu is uh, having the dialogue with Havdil Pare, and Moshe says, no, I'm not, I'm not playing games with you. I'm taking everybody along. But the first ones he says is Binareinu, the youngsters. I don't get it. Why would why would not Moshe Rabbeinu not say that cheretz? I'll take the rabbanim, I'll take the dayanim, and then I'll take the little young kids the the bachemach. Why does he start in Oreinu? So this, the answer is given. The success of Yiddish of, of, of the Yidden is the ben Oreinu. The old people, the fifty year olds and the sixty year olds, the seventy, are they're on their way. They're they're not going to change too much. Hopefully they, they, they created themselves a path that's solid, and they are what they are. The Benarenu, whoa, they're very vulnerable. And the Benarenu is what comes first. Moshe Rabbeinu says, if, I, if I'm going to give you the list of who I want to take out, Benarenu, the Bachrim, are the first ones that I'm going to take. Because with them, I win the war. You once saw the video, I, I saw that beautiful video that Rebbe once spoke to an Israeli politician. And the Rebbe says to the Israeli politician, you guys in the, the, the war, in the army, they have uh, generals and all senior people. They're the masterminds. The Rebbe says, look at me. I surround myself with the young Bachrim. That's the Rebbe's in the video. The Rebbe's saying this. I surround myself with young blood, and that's the success. So everything you're going to hear about what, a, what type of a harness has to be for your tzvah, for us old folks, when I say old folks, I mean myself and Rabbi Keller, we're that, then, we're, we're, it's hard to change, you can't, you can't teach an old horse new tricks, right? But you guys are young, you guys are vibrant, use, listen to what your mashpian tell you, and hopefully you'll be in the right path. So I want to tell you, in short, I want to tell you something which I didn't realize how, how powerful this was. We all know the letter from the Rebbe. The Rebbe writes the first Yud Shvat, the first uh, Yud, uh, Yud, uh, Yud Shvat, telling the Chassidim what the Achana should be for Yud Shvat. And he gives the list of uh, the, uh, the, the Maimon of Asilagani. He gives the list of the Aliyah, the famous list that we that we uh, we know about. All the men hugging for the for Yud Shvat. I found there are two letters before that where the Rebbe was already introducing this concept of that's the you have to get prepared, and two other cases. A month earlier, the Rebbe writes a letter, Yud out of Tavis, the Rebbe writes a letter to Sholem Posner in Pittsburgh. And the Rebbe says to Rabbi Posner in Pittsburgh, Yud out of Tavis, what are we going to do about it? What's Yud out of Tavis? Yud out of Tavis is the time that they finish saying Kaddish, 11 months you finish saying Kaddish, 
And the Rebbe gives him a list. Oh, such a special day. We got to be prepared. Bing, 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 bing. A, a list of things. The Torah, the Bible, the Gemara, the Chassidim. The mini list that the Rebbe said already, but the Rebbe is going to write eventually for Yud Shema. Now, this one I'm going to tell you is a bigger Kiddush. There's a letter in Igor's Kiddush where the Rebbe writes to somebody, Eeyar! What's that? Three mo- almost three months after Yud Shema, when the Greek Rebbe passes away, almost three months later, the Rebbe writes to somebody, I forgot who it was, and the Rebbe says, All right, What are we going to do? We have to make a Chana because Yud Eeyar is coming. I am I said, What's Yud Eeyar? So the Rebbe, and Rabbi, 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 Rabbi Keller, you might like this, the Tushto the Rebbe made here. The Rebbe says, Yud Eeyar is a special day. It's, it's Nigmar, we're finishing the Yemei Havchana. You know what Yemei Havchana is? Like only the Rebbe could do this. Take a din in Hilchus Ebena Ezer and match it up to how we have to serve Avedis Hashem. There's a din in Hilchus Ebena Ezer that uh, somebody, Rahman al Islam, passes away. The wife is not, a, I don't know what you say, the way you this is from the Hebrew folks. Um, a lot of yeshivas are in condition. But um, if a wife passes away, if the husband is not, the, if, I'm sorry, if the husband passes away, the wife is not allowed to get married right away, a week or two later. She has to wait a minimum three months. Why does she have to wait three months? In case she's pregnant and she has a baby, we have to know who the father is. Is the father the first husband or the father the second husband? The Rebbe takes this din, and the Rebbe says, Hi, it's Yud Iyar. Yud Iyar is the end of the three months. We got to know who is, we have a lot of Kanoi uh, there, right? We, we got to know who is Dar Hashishi, who is that generation, and who is, who knows what the job of Dar Hashmi is, to bring Mashiach and to prepare yourself. And the Rebbe says, Rabbi Nishalev, the Rebbe doesn't use that word, but he says, speaking of a, a, a chassid that he felt very close, he says it's time that everybody to be mafchin, everybody to take note and take and to think about, am I a part of the past, or am I connected to the future, connected with Yolanda the Chaya? And that's the best message I can tell everybody. The only thing that's going to get you out of Golis, the only, only thing is, Taira, 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 and whatever you learn is not enough. And if you want to be connected to the Abish, you want to be connected to the Rebbe, Ba'atim, Advekim, Hashem, Alekechem, Chaim, Kochemayam.